Hello, Zulu Charlie Fox, and back with another episode. And this time, I'm going to show you a knife. <laughs> well, this is going to be an addition to my uh, get home bag. So, uh, a question might be that why should I carry a knife if it's just a get home bag? Well, in the cases of Limbawa, you're in a rainstorm or flood, this could help you uh, detangle cords if, they, if you get caught. Also, in case of an earthquake, uh, you will use this as a um, protection for yourself uh, for you to get home. <laughs> so, in the case of an earthquake, where most probably there is a high probability that the police will be very busy with uh, other stuff with search and rescue, uh, you are liable. Uh, you are uh, you are to protect yourself for uh, since you can't rely on anyone so as a tool you can use it for uh, um, uh, for making other stuff for example uh, if you're going to make a walking stick you can look for uh, cut wood or branches and then clean it up for you to be able to use that as a walking stick so this is the Boker uh, DA quote unquote Boker DA 048. So, one indication that this is actually a clone or not a genuine Boker is the logo. So, uh, the logo here, ang alam ko dapat, well, Boker should have the two dots dun sa o. And then also, there's no indication where it's made, but we all know that probably this is made in China. And what kind of steel this is? Wala. So I don't know the strength. Even the ad on Lazada doesn't mention what steel this is made of. So you can't be sure. So obviously, it's a not so genuine boker, but uh, it's actually of a decent construction. Ang ganda naman yung pagkagawa. <laughs> the finish is, well, not as good as a. Uh, an actual poker I would guess but uh, good enough for the price which is 440 pesos so it's a hollow grind it's a flipper so again use this or the thumb stud and uh, you'll have to forgive me because I I'm not really used to handling knives so this is you try to flip this with see then this is a hollow grind uh, uh, drop point tip with a liner lock so ang liner lock ibig lang sabihin is itong liner in between the scales or yung handle it's the metal liner rides up the middle of the blade to hold it up so it also has a lanyard hole no? tawag for actually a paracord hole so also the clip uh belt clip and a belt clip so pocket clip is tip down and one side only di mo siya malipat and uh, the centering of the blade if you can see it git nang git na so it's really at the center of this of the two and then uh, that's why i could say it's of decent construction because there's no play or di siya walang panugo so it's pretty built solidly so yeah that's just the basics of this knife i'm going to cut to other uh, stuff that i did uh, with this knife so i did some um actual cutting and uh, well uh, show you what how it looks like when uh, it's in your pocket so let's cut to those uh, um to those uh, videos
Okay, so that was the field test of uh, the um, this. Uh, let's just call it the number forty-eight knife. So uh, yeah, yeah, uh, fairly decent looking actually. Uh, even the build is good, very good. Um, sharp knife, really sharp. Uh, and for the price, maybe I would have my doubts about the strength or the quality of the steel. But for my purposes of just uh, um, a last ditch attempt to protect yourself or in any uh, event of uh, you need to defend yourself. In case of an earthquake or flood or as a tool for detangling cords or um, or something that uh, you might need a sharp edge for you to use this one is ideal for the get home bag I won't be using this as an everyday carry because one it looks very intimidating so it just might get confiscated what I'm interested in actually for carrying everyday are those that are uh, more ano ba yun? simple less intimidating than a tactical knife like this so this one stays in the get home bag and uh, that's why I made I tried to purchase the <laughs> cheapest one or the the one that look it looks okay and uh, well for a first uh, first knife I think you can't go wrong with this one from uh, quote unquote Boker so um, if you like these uh, videos, um, hit the comments, what you think, and click the like button, and I uh, hope to see you in the next episode.